So, uh, did you start your fashion designing path in college, or when did that start? Yeah, I started the bow ties in uh, 2015. So I think like my senior year, I started the bow ties because I was in a transition. I started to dress up more around campus. Uh, I just started looking, I don't know, man, like a light bulb just hit me. Like my, my, again, my mentor, Dr. Palmer, like he always wore a suit every day as a professor. And then I had a class with him that started at 8 a.m., kinesiology class. If you show up at 7.59, the door was locked. So he taught me about being punctual. So then I'm like, okay, boy, I gotta be here at 7.45, 7.50. But I just always liked the way that he carried, I liked it the way that people respected him for his attire and then who he was too as a man. So I'm like, cool, man. So I started going to like thrift stores. I'm like, I'm gonna get a couple jackets, you know what I'm saying, a couple shirts. Then I found a tailor who can take them in for me. But then I'm like, that's a lot of money I'm spending on alterations. So I started kind of like looking up YouTube and like how to tailor your own clothes. Like, bam, I can just take this shit in myself. But at the thrift store, I was getting um, sheets, pillowcases, like different materials to make the bow ties. I was making the bow ties and I was selling them to like the fraternity, selling them to my professor. I was selling them around campus. Like selling them was really how that and um, that and then uh, like virtual styling people. Like that's how I was really getting some money. Like I was virtual styling clients back in Jacksonville and um, he won Prom King in 20, that was 2015, he won Prom King. And then that next year was when it kind of started to like bubble, like, hey, I'm looking for the prom guy. I was still in Raleigh, then I'm looking for the prom guy. Then I had moved back home, so I had like eight students reached out to me, and I just styled them. Bro, I charged them, um, it's crazy, I was looking at the numbers yesterday, bro, it was three, $350, and you got a jacket, pants, shirt, bow tie, and shoes. You got everything for $350. With, with a, uh, I always did a GPA discount. So you probably was paying me like $275, $300 for a whole suit and the shoes. So, um, that's, it started in Raleigh with the, like, as a bow tie company, just custom made bow ties. Then I had some polo pajamas. I cut them up. Everybody, everybody really liked the dog. They was like, I ain't never seen different colors with the horses and stuff like that. So I cut those up and I would start making bow ties and selling them like that, man. And then my first wedding was actually, Nee Smith was in the wedding. Um, Melvin Weber got married and they, they got the black tuxedos from me. And I didn't make any money as far as profit, but they covered the cost for me to get the black tuxedos in. And from that day, I kept renting out those same black tuxedos. Bro. I'd take them, get them clean. And then when I started making money, I just doubled up how many I had. And then I ended up ordering some gray ones. Cause I was looking at men's warehouse and like the colors that they had and other suit coming. I'm like, okay, cool, I need to get navy blue. It took me a while, I'm like, okay, I gotta get khaki or tan because that's another color. So then I started adding the vest, the different colors, like per wed, add different vest colors and stuff like that. So that's kind of how I built up the tuxedo rental component of my company as well.